Hello crochet friends, welcome back. Working on our chicken. And we ended last time with round 13. I did put my eyes in since um, the last video. I just, I, I wanted to take my time, figure out where I wanted them. And you um, can do your eyes anytime. I think we should probably do it soon if you're gonna use these plastic ones. Cause we're about to close up really tight here. So you may wanna do it before we proceed with 14 and 15 here, okay? Um, I did the little safety one so that backing needs to get on there. So I needed to get up in there. So when we place this marker all the way back when we were working on round five, that marked round five for us. So we know where to place our eyes and our beak is gonna be over here. So this eye I placed about around stitch five and this one's about 10. So if I squish them like this, you can see they're about even. And I know that the beak's gonna go here and then our comb. So that's where I placed mine. You do you whatever you'd like. You don't have to use these plastic ones. If you want to sew your eyes on, you can do that later on when we're all done. That's not a big deal, but I just wanna make sure if anybody was using those plastic ones that you get it done now, cause it's just, I think it's gonna be too tight. Alrighty, so we are on round 14. And we're gonna do a single crochet in the first stitch and then a decrease after that. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around until we have 12 stitches. So first stitch, single crochet, enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, two. Now a decrease. So we go in that first stitch, front loop only, second stitch, front loop only. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. All right, and then we repeat. Single crochet in the next stitch. And then a decrease. So we go front loop, next front loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. All right, repeat again. Single crochet. And then a decrease. So front loop of the next stitch, front loop of the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And you repeat again. So we're gonna do this all the way around till we get to the end. Not too bad, right? We're getting used to these decreases. Decreases, they're a little different, I know, but I think that they make the uh, project look nice and neat. So hopefully you agree. Um, so there's our single crochet to start again. So a front loop of the next, front loop of the next. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Alrighty, we're doing excellent. Not bad, right? It's not, oops, I always wanna, <laughs> I always wanna yarn over there. Oh boy, all right. Now that's the end of 14. I'm gonna move up my marker and we're gonna do round 15. We're just gonna decrease six times. So it's gonna get tight. Alrighty, so if you wanna add a little more stuffing, you can. I think my guy is gonna need a little bit, yeah, a little bit more. It's kind of flat feeling to me, but sometimes then you put too much in and I get all excited and I get them overstuffed. <laughs> uh, I think that'd be okay. I could always stuff in a little bit more if I needed to. Stuff the chicken, right? Oh boy. Good thing he's not a turkey. Okay, let's decrease all the way around. So we're in that stitch. Just trying to make sure. Let me see where I am. All right, so I'm gonna go front loop. It's gonna be a little bit wonky. Take your time. Front loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Cause it's small and there's just not that much to do here, right? Not that many stitches, but you wanna make sure that you're getting all of them because if you skip, then we'll have a little buckle. We don't want that, do we? Sometimes if you squeeze it a little bit, it helps. All right, there's two. Whew. Just keep going all the way around. Front loop of this one, front loop of that one. Pull through those two and then pull through these two. We'll make it. Front loop. And 
and front loop. Keep going till you get to the end there. Here we go. All right, that's the end for me. We did so good. I'm very proud of us. That was, that was a little tricky, wasn't it? All right, let's find a pair of scissors here. What we want to do is we're going to finish this head by taking this last strand of yarn, our end piece here, and we're going to sew it through the front loops of every stitch that we just made in this last round. And we're going to pull our yarn tight to close the hole and then stick um, the yarn through, okay? So, I'm going to just give it a little threading here. We just want this to be closed up really nice and tight. So make sure you've got all the stuffing in there that you want. If you want any more stuffing, now's the time to poke it in there. I think my little guy's okay. I mean, I don't know. I think he's all right. Okay, we've got our needle on here. Let's go through our loop just to pull ourselves nice and tight here. And then we're just gonna go through the front loops of all of these stitches just to pull it in like this. Just that front loop there. And then we're just gonna pull it through the body. We've already made a knot on it, so it's okay. It's not gonna go anywhere. We're just gonna pull through here to tuck this in. This will tuck it in. All right, there, nice and neat. So we're all tucked in. There we go. Oh, very cute. He almost looks like a peep to me if he were yellow. At this point, he looks a bit like a peep, doesn't he? All right, we're gonna snip this off. We don't need this on here, okay? So snip this off, pull it tight, and then it'll go back into itself there. Don't snip your work. All right, I'm gonna leave this here just so we know that that's five, even though the eyes are still marking it, um, so I know for my beak. Okay, chicken body, check. He's got his tail, head, he's got his eyes on already. If you don't have your eyes and you're sewing them on, that's okay. You could sew them on now um, before we start on the beak and everything. That would be great. So that is the end of round 15. We did 14 and 15 today. Our chicken body is ready to go. We can put him aside. Next time, we're gonna want a little bit of yellow to work on his beak. All right, I'll see you then. Thank you and have a joyful day.